This is another video tracking the behaviour of the Ring charge controller. Right at the moment the target battery is at 100% because I've been charging it. I've disconnected the solar completely, which happens to be that cable there. And as you can hear, the engine's running and I'm running off the alternator. Now, a couple of points to note is it's doing float charging, which is absolutely as expected because the battery is fully charged and the charge voltage going into the battery is 13.6, 13.7. The current's about two and a half because I've got about a two and a half amp load on the target battery. The voltage coming from the alternator is 14 volts and I've got about two, three amps coming out of the alternator. That's matching the load that I've got on the target battery at the moment. If we look at the settings on the ring, the uh, bulk voltage 14.5, float voltage 13.5, the cutoff from the battery is 12.8, it restarts at 13.2 and the solar priority is on. The solar is disconnected so that's kind of academic. So if we watch what is happening here, particularly if we watch the input voltage from the alternator, that's running at 14 volts. If we switch off the engine, that obviously drops and we've now only got the voltage coming from the van battery which is very quickly dropping to 13 volts. 12.9, um, obviously 12.8 is where my threshold set. Uh, it's 100% charged, the van battery is about 12.8 and what I expect is when this gets to 12.8 the ring will shut down as insufficient power, which is absolutely correct. Might have to wait for it to get to 12.7. It's still charging 3 amps. It's doing the float charge onto the target battery. So it's diligently charging the target battery now, but it's sapping it from the van battery, which is fine. I've got the parameter set for that. But very shortly. When this gets below 12.7, I'm going to have to speed up this bit, aren't I? Okay. It's, the voltage of the van battery has dropped. The ring has correctly determined that it shouldn't carry on discharging it, because otherwise I won't be able to start the motor. And it is going to go to sleep. Okay, what we've got overnight is the battery percentage has dropped, as we expect, because there's a load on it. The voltage is below the charge load. And the ring's been asleep all night. What we're going to do is start the engine and, and watch what happens when this wakes up and works out there's some alternator power available. It's woken up, it's worked out there's some power. It's taking power from the battery as you can see here and it's doing a float charge which is nonsense because we really want to be doing a bulk charge when the load battery is only 13.3 volts. Why it's only doing a float charge I've got no idea. This is exactly the same as the solar. If we scroll through what's happening here you can see it's doing 9 amps. It's now swapped 13.10 and it's still doing a float charge. Once again. Now, if I, as before, disconnect the target battery and reconnect it, it will lovingly swap into bulk charge. Note that it's still doing a float charge down here. So we disconnect the target battery 
and reconnect the target battery and lo and behold we're doing a bulk charge okay the difference between the bulk charge and the float charge is this will happily climb up about to 20 30 amps depending what's available from the alternator as you can see it's going up to 18 19 20 amps 22 amps yay hallelujah brothers that's what i expect for a bulk charge yeah we're getting 30 amps out of the alternator it's a bulk charge why can't it do that all the time <laughs> 